بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Mr. Knights, Mr. Froman, Mr. Steve Ferris, Madam Ann Patterson, uh, Craig Lebev, Lebev uh, Gamal Muharram, U.S. delegation, AmCham members and staff, uh, everybody good morning and very you know, warm welcome to Egypt, New Egypt. I, uh, I, I, I need to thank you all of you for coming. Uh, delighted uh, to, to, to learn that all of you made it because we had uh, strike in Egypt air and we are a bit concerned that uh, many of you will not be able to but I'm delighted to see the room is full and uh, others were flying other airlines that were known of uh, strikes but they also managed so this is uh, this is good news for us and I and I promise that you will not regret coming to Egypt because uh, uh, I, I'm sure you will learn a lot I, I hope you will have the chance to to visit Tahrir Square and and, and and to smell really the, the, the you know the, the, the you know the, the freedom that we have uh, fought for and a lot of people have died for i still remember when i was in the us when people were talking about uh, when it comes to election time they put this ad and the ad says uh, please go vote uh, others in other countries die for what you have so uh, people died to have this so, I, I, you know, as a prime minister, you have to take decisions every, you know, every moment. So, I, I, when I woke up in the morning, I thought, should I have breakfast at home or have breakfast with those guys here? And I, I made, as an, you know, a happy married indiv Egyptian individual, I made the right choice to have breakfast at home because I was not able, able to finish even my, my juice here. So, the second thing is I thought about is what, what, what do I tell these guys? You know, they come all the way from the U.S. and they want to hear. They want to hear, you know, what the Prime Minister would say about Egypt. And I think I made the right, the right decision again by said I will speak my heart. It is always difficult to become the last speaker. I found this out when I became a minister and I now found it to be more difficult when I become the Prime Minister because all the previous speakers, you know, give, usually give great speeches and whatever needs to be said they all said it they said the right thing that you know how close the relationship with the u.s is what the americans intend to do and they lay out it very nicely and 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 also they mentioned some of the challenges that we're facing and what needs to be done when we what we are doing so this is another thing but i guess i will i will overcome that by the speaking my heart because this is my heart not 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 theirs so let, let me start by by reading to you our vision this is, this is how we want to see the new Egypt. We want, to see, we want to see Egypt. You know, when you become 50, you have to take off your glasses to be able to read. A knowledge-based economy with a stable and balanced social structure, maintaining its religious values and cultural heritage, ensuring the well-being and quality of life for all citizens with a, with a wider democratic political regime and with an integrated ecological system conducive to sustainable development and active community participation. So this is, this is our vision. This is what we want, how we want to see Egypt in, in, in the near future, I hope. So let me talk to you about the first the political situation. Where, where are we? Um, are we still, I think, you know, everybody knows that we're still in, in the transitional period. But let me take you a little bit earlier. Uh, in January last year, we, we, really, we really had a great revolution. Uh, we were able to remove a tyrant, you know, and, and everybody said it was a miracle. In 18 days, you know, the whole regime collapsed. I take no credit for that. I was not here. I was in another country making history as well in Tunisia. But I, but I, but I, I, you know, I had the pleasure to witness both countries really taking you know, their, their destiny in hand and, and make, make a change, historic change. Tunisia and Egypt. So after that, we, we really had a very positive environment that uh, we, you know, we, we missed it. It was a great opportunity. I, 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 I came to Egypt. I flew from, from Tunis, Tunisia to Cairo. Uh, Mubarak left on, on Friday. I, I took the flight on Sunday. And you can, you know, you, the spirit was, was enormous. The positive spirit was enormous. You know, youngsters were going out in the street, cleaning the streets and painting the, you know, the, side, the sidewalks and doing voluntary work. But unfortunately, somehow this thing was lost. Uh, 
and, 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 and the, the transitional period turned turn out to be painful in many times.